Got right now. Yeah. Go, go, go. We are going to throw you over now to Tony Green and Gypsy Jazz. Epa. Fantastic. I think Django is smiling from up there. I think he's rolling in his grave right now, but no, he's a good guy. He's that is fantastic. So what attracted you to gypsy music? 
Well, uh, as a young man, I was leading a bohemian life in a place called Bruges, Belgium, as a painter. That's my main gig. I'm a right. painter. And uh, I stumbled into a cafe one night, and there were these gypsies working the crowd with their music. And um, I, I just got bowled over. I became a gypsy jazz groupie right there on the spot, you know? That is incredible. Well, Nikki was just blown she away. She was a jazz groupie, too. She was blown away. And where do you normally play in town? Well, on Tuesday nights, we hold court at the... Uh, Columns Hotel, which is on 3811 um, cool. St. Charles. I've been there for about three years, and so that's our Tuesday night gig. And then we do a lot of, you know, private functions and things like cool. that. So. Now, more about your art. You're known for the murals over at Rock and Bowl, but what else do you do besides the murals? Well, I, I make a lot of exhibitions in America and in Europe, and um, so that that's pretty much my livelihood. And then I also, well, now I just finished doing the Rex poster this year. So I guess in New Orleans, you know, that's when you've arrived. When that you that is definitely it. it. And there's sort of a, there's another sort of top secret poster that you're working on too. Ah, the crew d'etat, but I'm sworn to secrecy on that one. You know, if I, but the uh, let's just put it this way: if I don't get somebody miffed about this poster, I'll be very disappointed. You didn't do your job. No, no, it's not that. It's it's very um, um how should we say controversial. <laughs> <laughs> so um. Did you start off playing gypsy music, or what, what was the music that really drew you into playing Well, I was guitar raised first? in lower downtown Algiers. That's on the <laughs> West Bank. <laughs> and uh, being born at a very early age, I, um, I started. It's, it's there that, uh, you know, my brothers played music, too. So, you know, I was influenced by the band. I mean, I was yeah. having flashbacks while Who I was sitting it? there in a chair listening to those guys. And, uh, you know, blues, etc. And then I sort of graduated from blues. Blues is still great, man. I love the blues. But... Uh, I was lucky in life to live in Europe for a long time, so therefore I got influenced a lot of the different European style music, and so that's influenced my music today. And uh, so I love Hungarian music, Portuguese. In fact, the next tune we're going to play is a Portuguese tune, a Portuguese waltz. And what's it called? Dance de Frijeas, or probably in this language, Dance of the Fritos. Well, let's let's hear it. <laughs> Tony Green and Gypsy Jazz. <laughs> 